um, excuse me. Yeah, that's my seat. Thank you. Oh, hi there. Looks like we're going to be neighbors on this flight. I'm Babs. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Babs, like B-A-B-S. <laughs> it's just a nickname. Oh, my goodness, I, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting how cramped these seats are. Uh, don't mind me. I might bump elbows with you from time to time. I guess as long as we don't get any crying babies on board, we'll survive. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. So, do you fly often? Yeah, I fly quite a lot myself. There are just so many beautiful places in the world to visit, you know? And I want to see all of them. Or at least as many as I can. I've seen so many gorgeous places already. The Rocky Mountains, the Great Barrier Reef, the Northern Lights. It feels like I've barely scratched the surface on my bucket list, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm probably talking too much. I'm a bit of a babbler. <laughs> it's a force of habit, I'm afraid. Babbling away at people while their eyes glaze over is quite literally what I do for a living. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a hypnotist. I hypnotize people. Oh, you know, like, help them sleep better, stop smoking, lose weight, among other things. Well... Aren't you going to tell me that you can't be hypnotized? No. Pity. It's a classic. You tell me you can't be hypnotized, and then I proceed to completely take over your mind. <laughs> I wish. No, I'm kidding, obviously. It's just that... It happens all the time. Every time I mention I'm a hypnotist, people start spinning a whole yarn about how they're too strong-willed to be hypnotized, or about how hypnosis just doesn't work on them. It's all bullshit, of course. Everybody can be hypnotized. But I know why they're saying it. They're just hoping that I take it as a challenge and give them a free session. It's really quite transparent, and it's a lot of fun to call their bluff. I love getting uncomfortably close, looking deeply into their eyes. And then going... Well, I guess there's no point in even trying. <laughs> the faces I can get them to make are absolutely hilarious. Although, of course, sometimes I do indulge them. And I give them what they want. If they're cute enough. <laughs> Not that they ever admit that they were actually hypnotized afterward. They usually tell me that it didn't work and they were never truly under. And you know, maybe that's true. Or maybe they were so deep that they don't even remember it properly. <laughs> I like to think it's the latter. Then again, we do tend to believe what we want to be true. Don't we? So, 
since you're not going to be obnoxious about it. Do you want to find out what being hypnotized feels like? I'll give you a freebie, if you want. We won't be doing anything fancy like therapy or turning you into a mindlessly obedient puppet. I would just make you feel nice and floaty. And maybe even get you to fall asleep. Hopefully. <laughs> Could I? What, make you mindlessly obedient to me? Hmm. <laughs> Do you really think I'd be flying economy if I could pull something like that off? Relax. That kind of thing only works in movies. Besides, I'd charge for the privilege of getting to serve me. <laughs> Come on. I can tell you're interested. When are you ever going to get an opportunity like this again? And I don't know about you... But I sure don't have anything better to do right now. So how about it? I'll simply take you in and out of trance. And you'll get to feel... What it feels like. Alright. Cool. Then look at me. Look right into my eyes. Hmm, that's it. Look deeply into my eyes. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That's a trope thing. Close intense eye contact like this. It mainly tends to put people on edge. There are far better ways to hypnotize someone. Then again, my eyes are quite captivating. Aren't they? Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure I could hypnotize you with my eyes <laughs> but maybe some other time huh <laughs> all right enough fooling around go ahead and lean back try to get comfortable as best as you can <laughs> if it's even possible in these tiny seats. Hmm. Good. You can close your eyes, too, if you'd like. And for the rest, you can just keep doing what you've been doing. Listening to me talk. I always start a session by simply talking to my subject. It builds rapport, and it gets them used to the sound of my voice. Plus, the first step of guiding someone into a trance is getting them to relax after all. And listening to a soft, soothing voice can be so incredibly relaxing. And I could tell you to take a 
and nice. Deep breath now with me. And you can keep doing that, of course. But you don't have to. All you have to do is relax. Just relax. And if you do that by slowly breathing in and out, then that's fine too. But it's also fine if all you do is let my You don't even have to pay attention to what I'm saying to you. You can simply let your mind wander whenever you feel like it. Let your thoughts drift to whatever they may lead you to. And that is all perfectly fine. But if you are still listening to me, I would like you to imagine something. I would like you to imagine Picture that for me, please. If you can't quite see the image in your mind, just think about what it would be like. You are flying, and you're as free as a bird without a care in the world.
and it feels wonderful. You are calm and you are perfectly at peace. You are drowsy. It is so Focus on my voice. Focus only on the sound of my voice. And I want you to notice that you are sinking, sinking, sinking into the cloud slowly and gently. feels better than ever before. It feels so good to sink and sink and sink and let go of everything. And the deeper you sink, the more drowsy you become. And you are sinking and getting sleepy and sinking and sinking and your body is getting heavy and you are so very sleepy and you just keep sinking and sinking and deeper and deeper and your mind is going <laughs> it looks like I got you pretty good. Listen to me. Listen to me. Are you listening? And you're awake. <laughs> so how did that feel? Hey, are you okay? You look very relaxed. <laughs> how did it feel to submit to me? Oh, come on. You were completely in my power. 
You would have done anything I told you to. Believed anything I told you. What would you call that if not submitting to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too much fun to tease you. You're fine. Seriously. You did give up control to me, though. I know. It felt good. You don't need to tell me. I can see that look on your face. <laughs> It's nice to really let go and be truly free. So you want to do it again? <laughs> you heard me. Do you want to go under again? Come on, it was fun, wasn't it? I bet it's going to feel even better the second time around. Maybe I'll actually let you sleep this time. And, you know, still not a whole lot else to do. We got a couple hours on this flight. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right, close your eyes. And just listen to my voice. <laughs> listen to my voice and think of that cloud think of that cloud in the sky that comfy bed that is all yours and sing and sink sink into that big comfy safe cloud that is all yours you're doing so so good just keep sinking deeper and wake up <laughs> we've landed did you have a good nap <laughs> I'm sure you did where are you staying by the way if you don't mind me asking oh really my place isn't too far from there you know what Here's my card. It's got my cell number on it. Maybe we can grab a cup of coffee or something one of these days. Sound good? <laughs> Great. Well, I'll see you around. And, uh, call me.